What is going on, guys? We are back with another rebuild. I'm out of 22, and today it is with the Carolina Panthers. It is another draft rebuild, post draft this time, though. So we have all of the Panthers players. I made the players. I didn't have some roster with every single player made. Maybe that'll happen in the community files if those even work. This is about the time where, when they are already broken, the files just completely are gone. Like half the time, they're like, "Sorry, you can't download or upload the." Files have been turned off, so you buy the next game. Uh, but obviously, the Panthers came away with some pretty athletic players. They ended up with a very solid offensive lineman and a kind of project quarterback. Even though I think in real life, Matt Corral, it's going to be hard for him to win the job, and he probably does need to sit in this realm because it's more fun. It's still going to be a realistic style rebuild, and it's still realistic that Corral could win the job. We're going to start him. Now, it's very questionable whether he should be star or normal. I don't know, dude. I, I just put him at freaking uh, star. I don't care. Of course, decent athleticism. Uh, you know, throw power is pretty good. It's ironic enough that uh, the whole draft process, well, it's day two and on, Baker Mayfield was kind of being talked about to the Panthers, and Panthers fans were like, no, 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 no. And ironically enough, Matt Corral was kind of comped to Baker Mayfield, but pretty decent ratings, actually. He is 23. Uh, of course, Aquanu. Gonna give him superstar development trade. I think it's pretty fair. Very solid player. I mean, I think this is actually probably similar to what they're probably gonna rank him in the game. And uh, obviously, just a really solid player in general. Uh, looking at the defensive side, I thought they would have maybe added another wide receiver to be honest. But defensive side of ball, uh, Barno, 69 overall. I had to make him. This is like the lowest I can make him. He's just such an athletic freak. I mean, you see his ratings; they're not great, right? I mean, that's usable. But it's not crazy great, of course. You kind of can't really choose what traits you get, but spin move, ironically enough, is a very accurate one for him. Uh, just absolutely insane in speed, and I really wonder what they're going to rank him in the game uh, for speed, because obviously completely blazing, but EA tends to not like offensive players, uh, well, non-offensive players, to be super fast in the game. Of course, Barno could maybe even play linebacker for them. We'll see what they do, but I'd imagine he's just going to be a rotational guy. Uh, we have Barnes, who once again, another guy that's kind of a higher overall because of the speed. A lot of 23-year-olds from this team, I will say, but insane speed. Uh, very raw elsewhere, but maybe usable. I don't know if he'll ever develop for us. Uh, and then we have Brandon Smith, another choice of theirs. Uh, 66 overall, pretty athletic. Once again, kind of raw. The coverage ratings are actually... Maybe a little bit too high, to be honest, but either way. Maybe he'll project a start at some point, but outside of the two offensive players, I don't think any of the guys are going to be actually starting. Uh, I mean, honestly, it might just be Aquan who's starting year one with the other guys kind of being rotational, but once again, it's supposed to be about Matt Corral, kind of, so we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt here. It's happened in uh, a rebuild we did a few weeks back, Unrealistic Style, where Chuba Hubbard just became a star. It usually doesn't matter, but it, I mean, I guess if you want your players to be better than normal, that's a, a positive, right? Oh, Yatur Gross Matos with the uh, camp standouts gets 10k XP and he's one away from Superstar. Come on, Yatur. This could be massive. This could be massive. Oh, wait, did he really actually do it? Wait, what? I was about to say, I, literally, like, we don't get them often. I always forget. I always forget that you get XP and the dev up. Unbelievable. I mean, I would say it's like we get one every 20 breakouts, camp standouts, maybe even less, to be honest. But for your tour to get it, that's just crazy, dude. What is it? It's probably like two, I'd imagine. Uh, where is it? Wow, he got two sacks and a tackle for a loss. My guy, I haven't changed anything about the schemes. I usually let the uh, the team scheme work it out for the first couple of years, unless it's like, you know, like let's say the, the Browns, maybe, because, you know, you're adding a guy that can actually pass the ball decently well, so you don't want to run only. So, you know, I mean, fair enough. Of course, uh, Xavier Woods also has a breakout. Not that I really care, to be honest. And I say that, but, I mean, I still would have taken it, but... Yeah, that's crazy, dude. I, I always forget about that freaking 10k XP to your tour, who's probably really good now. But speaking of forgetting things, don't forget to leave a like and maybe subscribe if you're new. We do tons of franchise stuff, and I think we have a fun time. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I mean, I have no reason to be biased about it either. All right, so Matthew Ioannidis wants a three-year 25. I don't know how he's playing. Obviously, it's like, you know, a little past midway through the year. 
I mean, usually he plays pretty well, but I don't know, dude. Maybe he has just completely fallen off. I'm not sure, but those aren't really the numbers I'd like to see. DT, I'm trying to think, isn't the hardest position to draft. We need linebackers. Uh, we could use a wide receiver to replace Robbie Anderson. We definitely could use some offensive linemen. How much money do we have? Yeah, we got a rookie quarterback as well. And we're probably going to let Darnold go. So I think we'll pay it just not really based on what he can do for us, but the fact that we don't have to really pay too much else. Oh, come on, dude. I forgot about the rookie thing. All right, I don't know how Matt Corral played. Uh, it might have just been all McCaffrey, but the team did make the playoffs, even though they didn't have a super great finish. 10-7. Uh, and seven. Not terrible. I feel like the Panthers have a ton of potential. They just didn't live up to that last season. And uh, this is kind of how the season went. Kept the scheme the same. I would imagine it'll be reflective based on the, I would assume, insane numbers. Yeah, McCaffrey, insane numbers that he'll have. Uh, you know, we didn't have some super passing scheme. As far as Matt Corral goes, not terrible, though. 32 touchdowns, 18 picks, 4,400 yards. If he was able to win the starting job and come out with those numbers, that would be pretty impressive. Of course, McCaffrey, 1,700 yards, 15 touchdowns. Uh, receiving had 888 yards. I mean, that's just crazy. Uh, the receivers really didn't get involved as much because, once again, that's just kind of the way the scheme works. Aquanu, oh, my God. 16 sacks allowed. Come on, EA. Give my man a little bit of credit. Put some respect on his name. That's awful. But uh, Yatura Gross Matos, who's already superstar, Brian Burns, seven sacks, you know, eight and a half for Gross. Uh, Brandon Smith, who was the sub linebacker, got four and a half. He had a pretty good season, actually, for a sub. Uh, Barno got one picks. J.C. Horn with four. Brandon Smith with two. I mean, he actually played. I mean, Downs did he play as the sub? Okay, in fairness. Looking at the yearly awards, maybe even one rookie of the year. We got offensive player of the year, and we did not. It was Justin Fields, obviously. It seems that if it wasn't, you know, if we didn't have to do it this way, that uh, he probably would have won Offensive Rookie of the Year, which is kind of harsh, but there's not really much we can do there. Dallas only has us beat by two overalls, and I believe we beat them earlier in the season. Uh, I don't know if we were at home for that game or what's the story, but obviously Dallas has that home game advantage. 7-7, uh, to 14-7. to seven. I will say, the Panthers' playbook has seemed pretty decent in Sim. Um, I haven't really seen Darnold become that guy, though, so we'll see if maybe Matt Corral can. 24-10. Twenty-seven to ten. I mean, this is a Dallas team that wins the Super Bowl or at least attends it very often in sim, and we just took them out, and we're moving on to the division around that. I mean, that's a pretty quick start. Matt Corral is kind of killing it right now. That is an amazing uh, postseason performance. Uh, Christian McCaffrey kind of got carried. Well, I was about to say he kind of got carried. Didn't run well, but man, he had himself a receiving game. I'll tell you what. Of course, sack totals, Brian Burns had two, you know, one for Shaq Thompson, who I really hope goes up in dev because he's one of the bigger uh, names for our defense, and he's kind of on that regression path with his age, and you know, I'm a little worried about it, but it'd be what it be. And of course, as a tackle, we're going to try to start working on that agility blocking, and uh, I mean, okay. Uh, but the Buccaneers, who I don't remember, let's actually take a look real quick. I'm kind of curious to see if what our uh, record was against them. Did we lose both games? Uh, we won one, lost the other. I mean, okay, fair enough. I mean, fair enough. We have a chance. If trends are right, win, loss, win? Question mark. Of course, 14-3, one of the best teams in the league. Probably the best in the NFC as well. Just, I would imagine, got the bye week. It'd be a little unexpected to win this, but these divisional games are just so, you know, random. You just don't know what's going to happen. Like, we could absolutely smoke them. They could smoke us. It could be a close. I mean... I feel like one way or another, this could be an upset, and 10-0 to is not the worst way to start. 17-0 to is not the worst. Is this a rebuild, or is this just a simulation? Well, okay, okay. Yeah, you can't speak too soon when you're going against Tom Brady. Holy crap, dude. This is a choke job. Oh? Uh, hello? Okay, I mean, they, they get it to overtime, which is still a choke, obviously. 35, they don't get it, do they? Oh, no, they lost, and it was a tragic punt. Although, there's no way this team wins, right? Especially after choking. Man, this punter sucks. I mean, is that even like a 40-yard return? And that's going to be a win. Penalty is just, I mean, you can't do that. Um, 
what's happening? Okay, they do win in potentially the worst choke in non-championship to Super Bowl history. Of course, looking at the performances, not terrible. I mean, standing kind of tall going against uh, Tom Brady here. Looking at running backs, McCaffrey did do better in the ground game itself. Terrace Marshall did all right. Uh, but, you know, we're not really seeing much in the big names. Like, DJ Moore needs to step the F up. I'm just going to be honest. Barno with a sack. Ioannidis with a sack. Gross Matos with a sack. It just seems like outside of McCaffrey, it was all the, like, not big names that showed up. It was like the big names just, like, forgot what they're getting paid for. Well, let's head to Super Bowl see if we got any dev ups. I mean, I imagine someone on defense, the Chiefs versus the Rams. Interesting matchup. And the Chiefs win. No back-to-back -back for the Rams Let's see those dev ups. Come on. Give me someone. I don't think it'll be Corral, but he had an okay year. Not good enough, though. Uh, what about defensively? Come on, somebody. And I think Shaq, actually, which is pretty big, actually, for us. Like we said, yeah, he did. Nice, nice, nice. 28 years old with Superstar. Might be able to last a bit longer now because of that. Of course, the ratings didn't really go up super, super high, but we have some starting caliber players for the long haul. You know, we have Gross Matos, we have Burns, obviously Brown. And then with the three-year deal, maybe my Matthew Ioannidis. I don't know. We'll not have to worry about that for a while at least. Strong safety is a thought. Would definitely not be nice to upgrade that position. Linebacker, Brandon Smith is the sub. Actually did all right. Maybe you can argue that he probably should have went to star. But maybe he's the new linebacker for us. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, once again, offensively, we really need a guard. We really need a center. Uh, but all the other linemen look all right. Wide receiver two could definitely be improved. Wide receiver three, uh, I'd like to actually get somebody that kind of fits that role rather than some like six foot two, six foot three guy. You know, Terrace Marshall's probably the guy that they're hoping becomes you know their true number two in the future. But as of right now, it seems like more of a long shot than a uh, reality. So as you expected with free agency, there's really not a whole lot going on. So uh, we did offer our two. Jayon Brown and Ronnie Harrison, two immediate impacts that we're going to hopefully get. And we do. Ronnie Harrison is a massive uh, upgrade for us with potential and just overall straight away. And then Jayon Brown, uh, kind of just a fill-in. I think uh, Brandon Smith will play left out. And by left out, I mean right out, of course. I I remember who everyone is. So you pick 26. Uh, I mean, there's some defensive linemen that are uh, a little bit later. But realistically, we can't really move on. From Matthew Ioannidis anyways, so I'm not really sure if we should even be focused on them. I'm just going to go to 26 and just call it, you know, see what happens. So we have two minutes, I'm not going to need all that. We don't have a second round pick again. Oh, this is real life, isn't it? No, it's not. We just don't have any second round picks. Damn it. Uh, of course, where are the DTs? Are they even there? Oh, both are still there. Oof. B finesse move, really athletic, decently strong. Not a bad player, obviously. Then you have Reggie Truman, who looks uh, decent enough. Don't know his finesse, but good block shedding. Super strong. Decently fast, obviously, especially for his size. But then you also have the kind of wild card pick, if he's still there. He is a one to two round guy with 100% uh, you know, scouting. A catching traffic, B release, C catching with a D deep route. But 4-4-5, four, four, I mean, we kind of need that bigger type guy. I mean, I don't know what to think. And where's this medium route? Does it show? D, medium route, short route, C. A bit raw, but the 1-2 to two grade tells me maybe he's worth grabbing. It's the thing we have the most need for. Realistically, I would like to trade. Well, actually, you know, I'm going to grab him because we actually have a bunch of DTs. Never mind. We have a bunch of DTs later. Although, we do need O-line. Uh, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to trade back. I'm going to be mad if he's good, but I, I just think because we don't have that second round pick, we really need to trade back so we can gain some value. The Raiders are kind of giving me, I wouldn't say exactly what I want, but pretty good value here. The Falcons are doing a little bit better for me, though. And yeah, I think the Falcons are going to be the trade, even though it's interdivisional. I don't give a damn. It's, it's a decent trade for us. Watch them take the wide receiver. Joe Perriman, I didn't have a corner on my list, to be honest, so... Don't know. We need uh, pretty much all the linemen. We don't actually have a center on the list, so that's probably the number one, uh, or on the roster anyways. It's probably the number one need. Uh, Newman's still there, dude. But I'm going to go with the uh, the center, Bryce Short, all the A's in the world. We're going to grab him, and he is hidden as expected. I mean, he's a good pick. It is what it is.
We could use one more alignment. We have a high third. I think we have a couple of guys there that look pretty decent. Uh, Winslow would be one of them. Uh, I think we had a couple of A's once again. He's built more like a center, though, so maybe depending on the athletic uh, attributes, maybe he moves the center, and then we move our center to guard. Uh, I mean, the center wasn't super athletic, but that guy's just not athletic at all. We also do have the tackle with all Bs across the board. Much more athletic, but weaker. Uh, and then you have Rutland, who's... Uh, you know, F run block, but really big, decently athletic. Probably a guy that I wouldn't go for. Uh, I think he can probably go to the next round. I really want Newman, but we still have Robbie Anderson. I mean, we have a, a fast guy in the, uh, you know, day three category for wide receiver. Might be able to go with it. Newman went that late. I kind of assume that he's not good then, right? I'd imagine. But then again, it's the Chiefs. They always end up with really good wide receivers late. Uh, the linemen are still there. We have a linebacker. Kinda need him, I guess. Hopefully we have a we have to have multiple thirds, right? Because we got 71 from the Falcons. Uh was oh yeah, this is 71 actually. I don't know why I thought we had pick seven for some reason. Uh Justin Tucker playing running back now. Uh, the left guard's there, the DT's there, the middle linebacker is there. I think the left guard is the bigger need. He looks good enough, hoping for the best. Another hit in, and the line is complete. Like, unless that wide receiver is, like, superstar or better or something like that, I think we made the right call. I, I really do. Uh, let's go with two-fifths and a third to Washington, which I think is pretty close. And we're going to be taking 72 off of them if they want it. They do, and we're going to be taking the middle linebacker. The guy looks pretty good. He's very athletic. He has a B-man coverage, you know, potential at least. With a uh, an A play rack, and I mean, some pretty good, you know, redeemable ratings. Where's the DT actually? Shaden Bar, how good is he? Eh, I don't even know why I put him on my oh. <laughs> 41 bench press reps. I think that's probably why I put him on my list. But the middle linebacker, 6'2, 21 years old as well, very, uh, ag you know, agile, looks like a good player, hoping for the best. Yeah, normal, but it is what it is. Actually, we didn't even need him. I just remembered. I, I think Brandon Smith just got wasted. <laughs> he definitely would after seeing that we just drafted a uh, a player to you know kind of replace him. But yeah, we uh, we just wasted. I forgot we got by um, Jayon Brown. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, whatever. We're gonna go to the next pick. Might actually grab the wide receiver with this next one if he's there. Pick eleven. I mean, it's a day three. It could literally be like anything. So hoping for the best. And uh, we have last, next pick is a six-rounder afterwards, which is definitely not worrisome at all, I promise. Uh, looking at the players, the wide receivers there, none of the linemen are, but Fryer, who is pretty rough, but decently fast. He's like the fastest of the remaining guys that I've seen. I worry about that, I ain't gonna lie. That's rough, but I'm gonna go for it anyways. And uh, yeah, he's pretty athletic. Kind of gives me DJ Moore athleticism vibes-ish. But he is a bit of a rough project, it, it would appear. You know, the F and the D. F, D. It's nuts. And our kicker is not like set in stone for life. This man has the name Blankenship, and he has elite kick power. I mean, what else can you ask for? 97 kick power, normal dev. I can't remember. Have we drafted a hidden development special teamer yet this Madden? You know, not counting like classes made by, you know, users. That doesn't obviously count. We're also going to take quarterback Brian Wilson. We have no backup quarterback on the list. 85, you know, 88 throw power, three to four round guy, you know, falling far. We know what it's like to grab a quarterback, get decent value out of a guy that's, you know, falling. So do it again. Not that he's going to be a starter, but, you know, could be a backup for, for years to come. We'll take it. We're going to go with an athletic fullback, Artie Rainey, who has 80 speed. He should have been faster than that, to be honest. I think he had a 4.66. 6 that should be like 83 speed, but it is what it is. Let's take a look at that draft recap. I really want to see that wide receiver. I know everyone else does too, I'd imagine. Uh, but looking at overalls, not terrible. 72 overall for Fryer. I'm going to actually look at him first because that release and... That's not true, dude. What was the, was the release D? 67's not terrible. He's actually a super sleeper. 85 catching traffic, 79 catching... He's a super sleeper, of course, no receiving traits. Really good juke move. Actually, maybe even one of the best juke moves I've seen from an AI. Like, the AIs just don't have any juke moves, even when they're, like, 97 speed. Uh, Lawrence Tyson, decent zone coverage, really good catching. Super jumping for a linebacker in the CPU class. 87 speed, 91 XL. 
Yeah, I mean, it's still a good pick. He's going to start. Uh, Winslow, who is even less athletic, once again, smaller as well than our actual center. We're going to just swap their positions real quick. Put him at center, I guess. Not that it really matters in Madden. And he's star. I suppose if this guy is actually a superstar, that would be really clutch. But 76 overall. Once again, a little more athletic, a bit bigger. I feel like fits the guard role a little bit more. So that's what we're going to do. Put him at guard. Dev. The star development trade. Still a pretty good draft, though, considering we were drafting without a second-round pick uh, with a late pick in general. That trade down was kind of clutch. It ended up landing us uh, Tyson, or the other guy, the other, the other lineman. But, hey, we'll take it. We'll take what we can get. Uh, let's go with the Chiefs now. Let's see what they got with that wide receiver. I guess we'll take a look at the D-lineman as well. But Sean Newman, 72 overall, normal. We will we will be happy we passed on him. Not a bad player, though. 90 jumping, 90 speed, 92 excel. Uh, no aggressive catch or possession. Not that I don't think, once again, it matters. I think we tested that, and it just didn't really matter. He's not bad, but, I mean, we he literally would have been another Terrace Marshall, so... I mean, we were looking for a guy with high development out the gate. We dodged a bullet. We almost took him at 26. He went all the way to 63. Of course, the Chiefs took another one of the guys on our list. Joseph Marshall, decent, not great. Here's Sammy Brown, 75 overall, hidden. Oof. This was the guy that was higher on my list for sure, too. So uh, we definitely dodged a star, which is not good, but... We got the positions we actually needed. This would be a guy that we were kind of grabbing early. Star Dev. Any higher, I would have been really mad. But, you know, Star Dev for a guy that wouldn't have started out the gate. You know, you win some, you lose some. I think we still did well. All right, here's the roster for year two. It's uh, definitely improved with the offensive line. That guard, he's a 78 overall at guard. He's not even that athletic, so I'm a little surprised he went up that high. But Matt Corral's only a 73 overall after that season. I can't remember what we I think I'm a 68 overall, maybe. Uh, decent deep, pretty good medium, and pretty awful short, to be honest. But no throw power upgrades either. Tommy Tremble is a guy that we also need to kind of come into the light here a little bit. As obviously, he's got a lot of potential himself. Looking at the receivers, Fryer, I think, is going to be the good future slot guy. But once again, unless we develop Terrace, I think we're going to need a new wide receiver after uh, number two, at least. After the season is up with Robbie only being an 80 overall. Uh, defensively, we're kind of putting band-aids on the linebacker group a little bit. We have potential with Smith. We have some really good potential with Tyson. But, you know, Jayon can't really develop anymore. Thompson, it's really just kind of like trying not to have him regress too much. Cornerbacks look fine. But with them probably needing to be, re, you know, signed soon. I don't know who you keep, to be honest. So... I don't know about that, but safeties look great. D-line in general look great. Once again, kind of paying attention to the DT2 spot to potentially replace Ioannidis at some point. Come on, dude. This D-line's goaded to hell. Derek Brown on pace to potentially become a superstar. No. There's just no shot. Again? I'm rocking the Panthers' defense from now on. I don't care. All right, let's see how he did it. I think we are 2-0 to start as well, which is nice against uh, the Rams and the Falcons. Not bad. Must have been uh, block sheds, I'd say, tackle for a loss, right? Uh, well, tackle for a loss of two sacks, bro. Oh, my. Again, this team is nuts. It's actually insane. We lost. Never mind. This is what the re-signings look like. Pretty tame, to be honest. Of course, we gave the fifth-year option to Brian Burns. As, uh, I don't know if he's really deserving of the contract that he's, uh, trying to get out of us, so give us one more year to decide. You guys are probably like, yeah, I'm sure you're not gonna re-sign the 90-plus overall pass rusher, right? I'm a little scared. I don't think I've seen this. We've lost two in a row, but, like, surely you can't fire me after, right? What's the reports of a divided locker room between the offense and defense, which has been struggling? How do we handle it? Screw it, dude. You're going for it all. Guarantee the damn win. I don't care. Uh, okay, dude. I can't. I mean, just win. That's all I care, right? They're three and eight. They're gonna win, dude. We're, I'm not touching it. I'm not clicking it. I'm just not clicking it. Yes, I'm clicking it. We won. Swoo, swoo. I don't know what that means, but what do we get? That's a good win. It's kind of dumb though, because it's like do uh, allowing zero to offensive touchdowns to the Saints has resulted in plus ten. 
did we really do that though i don't think that's true but i was about to say because like it's like they're in they're divided it's like so we make a goal <laughs> we make a goal to make uh the offense and the defense compete against each other. That sure is going to bring them together, right? I mean, unless they score the exact same, you know, they have the exact same points allowed as touchdown scored or something. I don't know, but that doesn't really seem like a great way to keep the the morale high, right? I can't remember what you get for Unstoppable Force, but we we said we were going to destroy them. Uh, didn't I seen the words didn't seem, which isn't good, but hey, 1k XP for everyone is better than 0 XK for everyone. While we have been getting the uh, camp breakouts or standouts, uh, we have been failing the regular breakouts. You know, no Xavier Woods, no Tyson. We had one for Ronnie Harrison this year. Kind of sucks. All right, 10 and 6. Give a chance to go 10 and 7 or 11 and 6. We don't get the division again because the uh, the Buccaneers, but they did lose two games more. So maybe we're uh, trending to steal that in the future here. Of course, McCaffrey numbers look a little down because he's not in the top three. Usually he is. Uh, you know, kind of a up and down season, but ultimately finished with a win. Finished strong enough to obviously become one of the better teams in the postseason. Wins wise, obviously seed wise, not because damn Buccaneers again. But Matt Corral, yards are a little bit lower, but the touchdown to pick ratio is better. Touchdowns seem a little bit higher. Better yards per. Actually, I don't think that's true. I think McCaffrey might have been like 5.4 last season. No, 5.2 exactly. More touchdowns though receiving was a little bit worse as well more did better i don't know what to think this is like a weird scheme i don't want to change things because it's working you know if mccaffrey can stay healthy you know he is obviously the guy you want to run the offense through but at the same time you got dj Moore. maybe we just keep it like this and don't worry about having a number two you have a decent speed slot you have a good number one tight ends giving you know you some decent seasons uh, of course, looking at uh, the sack numbers, Brian Burns with 15 and a half, 10 for Derrick Brown. Yatour is doing just enough as a complimentary piece to get seven. Tyson, really good rookie year, like we said. And uh, Barno. Oh, wait, that's not Barno. Barno, even worse. Because at least Barnes had a couple of picks. Uh, of course, we also did see that uh, Aquanu with nine sacks allowed, which is pretty good. I mean, you look around the league and some of the elite guys, let's see if... Uh, you know, Bakhtiari with eight allowed, you know, so it's an improvement in general and overall it's not terrible for EA's sim numbers. Let's look at the uh, potential award wins. Christian McCaffrey, Offensive Player of the Year again, uh, and the Lions hitting two Rookie of the Years. Of course, we were second place. Matt Corral, best quarterback. That touch on a pick ratio was pretty elite. Uh, McCaffrey with best running back. Best wide receiver, we were up there with number four. O-line, maybe someone. No, I haven't even really paid attention to Moten, to be honest. Uh, but number six for Burns, who had a pretty good year. Linebackers, really thought our rookie would have been up there, but no. Uh, DB, no. Kicker, no, I don't think. I mean, some of them might have slipped in. But as long as, you know, if you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby. Of course, 86 overall to the 85 overall Niners. We won a game last season, but lost in the divisional uh, I think if we win a Super Bowl here, which I don't expect to, I would say that uh, we'll call uh, we'll do two more seasons. But if we you know don't win it this season, any Super Bowl win if we get one afterwards will end it once again. You know these are teams that are at least this team and the Jets. They're they're teams that are not really like built. They have a ton of potential, but they're not expected to go off and become dynasties. That would definitely be a surprise to the league. So, you know, if it's like a dynasty team like the Chiefs, you know, we'll try to go for two Super Bowls every time. But in this one, getting a Super Bowl is a huge win. Uh, but, of course, 41-13, to 41-20, to 20, and we win 41-20. to 20. Matt Corral, dude, I don't know if it was him, but he's had some good postseason games in the past, and he continues to do so. Obviously, Trey Lance, a young guy himself, played well, but not as well. McCaffrey also stole a few touchdowns, same with Hubbard. And by a few, I mean literally three touchdowns. DJ Moore, what a game, though. What a game. Of course, Hubbard, I like it. I like seeing Hubbard's name in there. You know, he's a star dev. He got potential. Burns, decent. Uh, Brown, pretty damn good. Brown is starting to develop really nicely now with that superstar dev standout. Uh, is it? It's called a camp standout, right? Like, breakout, standout, it's all confusing. Of course, DJ Moore, let's go with the route runner. Gets uh, an overall upgrade. And what is his ratings? That's pretty good. And yeah, I knew when I was talking about that slot receiver that DJ Moore was faster uh, than I remembered. He's a lot faster than I remembered, of course. But yeah, 9-8s, nine Niners, nine they're not the easiest team. They're definitely not the hardest team to beat, though. And of course, we're playing against Washington now, a team that we traded with in the draft. 
There are two overalls less than us compared to the Niners. We also don't know what their quarterback situation is like. I doubt it's still Wentz, but we'll see. All right, going to the end of the game. Really good start for us. We get seven. Washington bounces back with seven. We get another seven after theirs. They get three. We get seven up by 11. Uh, they get seven. Huge field goal, but it's only a seven-point game right now. And it's up by 10, up by three only. This is a pretty big battle. Seems like a lot of turnovers as it's all tied up. And wow, this is an insane drive from Washington. They go for the field goal. I think they missed. Are we... Did we... Hu Hello? Excuse me? Oh, we intercepted it. The linebacker, the rookie. Oh, no, that was a different... Still, I mean, it was a pick, but... It wasn't the pick, if you will. It was blocked! And instead... So, if we lose this game, I'm going to force win. You guys seen that they just ran out of time, which they obviously had enough time, and it looks like we are going to lose. I mean, I think it's fair. I, I mean, you guys seen it. I mean, I, I don't really need to slow it down for you guys. If you did, that's on you. The, we literally ran out of time when we had time to... You know, it was 20 seconds left inside the 30, 35... You obviously get a field goal there, right? Like, come on, dude. Especially when it was uh, McCaffrey that was, like, the last play of uh, regulation. That means that the uh, that McCaffrey would have made a mistake, which makes no sense. He just wouldn't do that. He would, like, swap the ball away, do something, you know? If he realizes that, the you know, Matt Corral screwed him over. He's, like, passing it to him. He'd, he'd swat it away, probably. But let's uh, move on. We deserve the win, and I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. That's not cheating. That's literally just the game being bad. You know, with the block field goal, sure, it's maybe not the most likely thing in the world, but at least they attempted the field goal, and it was just a sim block. We've lost on blocks in, in the past. You know, we haven't forced one because of the block. Uh, but going against the Vikings, now this would be a disappointing loss. I'll just be honest with you. Like, this would be a rough one. Like, this would... I mean, of all the teams... You know, they're just going to take the this, this Super Bowl spot and then lose another one anyway. So, let's see it. Come on. Oh, Dalvin with a huge rush. I'd imagine for a touchdown out the gate. 10-3. Uh, Minnesota's kind of doing well. Nice touchdown by us. Down by three. This scheme is really good, though. 17-13. to 13. You're not going to get crazy quarterback numbers, but if you've got a guy like McCaffrey, which is not a... It's not like it's a dime a dozen. I mean, this scheme works. And it wasn't like some crazy electrifying game it was kind of a defensive battle it feels but we're in the Super Bowl baby as Kirk Cousins looks like he just needs to be gone Teddy's back in Minnesota of course Matt Corral looking really good yet again McCaffrey got carried and every time I say that you look at the receiving numbers and he actually went off still got carried but like that's still impressive receiving Mike James who the hell is that I don't know who he is but he kind of went off two and a half sacks kicking uh, they missed one. I didn't re-sign Zane Gonzalez because his season hasn't been great. He missed four, was it, out of 20, which I guess isn't crazy bad. I really should re-sign him. He's been decent for us. I like the guy we got as a rookie, but meh. I'm just really glad that I spent uh, all the time to make all the seven, you know, all draft picks they had. I think it was like six players to not use them. <laughs> I mean, Barno is kind of like a rotational guy in fairness, but... Yeah, we, we only use, like, two of the guys, really. I mean, I guess Barnes is playing, too. And what am I talking about? Of course, Matt Corral, in my opinion, really should just be forced in dev, but I'm not going to do that because, once again, you can almost argue that. Not even almost. You could physically argue that he maybe shouldn't even have started as star, so already has that force dev, if you will. Two to short, two to deep. 79 overall, almost 80 overall quarterback. I think the way he's playing probably is more like an 82, 83, but I still think that's fine. Uh, no dev up elsewhere defensively. Uh, no dev ups at all, really. Not even Tyson. That seems like a force in my in my opinion, but I'm not gonna do it. I've you know I'm not gonna do it. But like, look at this season, this game or the season. Yeah, 113 tackles, five sacks, five tackles for a loss. I mean, 85 solo tackles though. I'm not gonna do it, but man, he deserves it. He really does. So, I mean, you can't yell at me. All right. I, I have some self-control not forcing that, Dev. But let's go against the Chiefs, who are a little bit more of an offense. Well, actually, were they offensive heavy? I imagine they are, because you look at that roster. It should be. But something tells me it was defense. No, it was definitely offense. Yeah, I mean, I kind of expected that. But we're a better defense. They're a better offense. 
I'll be honest, in today's NFL, I would take the offense. We've seen the you know the Panthers go to a couple of Super Bowls. Haven't really seen them win a whole lot in Sims, so let's see if we can do one here in year two with Matt Corral leading the charge. 7-0, defense came out strong, but gave up a huge touchdown there. 10-7, 10 all, 17-10. Ooh, this is bad. Yeah, that's a huge drive. Before half, we get three, but they get a nice touchdown out the gate. Come on, Carolina, please. No, we get smoked. Oh, man. There would be so many memes. Not even, like, deserved, but there would be. Of course, Matt Corral has his worst game by far in his entire career in the postseason. In the Super Bowl, of course, unfortunate. McCaffrey actually played pretty well, it seems, too. It's just those two interceptions. I mean, I can't even say that. Two interceptions doesn't lead to 48 points. Defense has got to do better. You know, we kind of, I wouldn't say rode the, the defense's, like, shoulders, but the defense was a huge part of this run, and they just absolutely fell flat in the Super Bowl. That's just awful. But two decent playoff runs. You know, you get a you know wild card win with your rookie quarterback. You lose in the divisional, and then year two you go all the way to the Super Bowl. Yeah, you get smoked, but it's still, it's still an appearance. But yeah, even though we don't need some sick wide receiver too, if there's one that's in free agency that makes sense, I mean we we may just pull the trigger anyways, because we still don't have to pay Matt Corral for a few more seasons. We have 52 mil to work with. Uh, I mean, yeah, we have to pay Brian Burns, but. That fifth-year option is not going to be too much lower than what we're going to have to pay him anyways. So it's like the the, the hits already kind of accounted for in a way. Uh, as far as you know, other players, Rob, Robbie, if we can get rid of him, would be great. So we can get rid of him. I may even be able to clear the pen in general because we're looking at real life. Yeah, I don't think he would be even on the team in real life. 2024, he doesn't have a contract. So I'm going to clear the pen and release him. It's not that he's not a bad, you know, he's not like he's a bad player, but... As a 79 overall, we have players that are just as good as him realistically. So we're going to remove the pen, release him. We appreciate your efforts, Robbie, but we don't need you anymore. See what his speed is like, actually? He's still an absolute threat, but as far as Madden's concerned, it doesn't really matter too much. So yeah, wide receiver 2 is definitely important, but maybe not as important for this squad as maybe other teams uh, DT2, I mean, we're kind of... Is this the last year for Matthew Ioannidis? I think. Maybe he has two more. I don't know, but... Yeah, I mean, I, th I think there's really not much you can do with the rest of the squad. Uh, you look for a wide receiver, too, and... Maybe draft for the future with DT. That's really, uh, all you can do, honestly. Because we have a lot of youth that is, uh, definitely in, you know, their prime, and... We actually have 68 mil now because of Robbie Anderson. Tell me there's a wide receiver, too. <laughs> oh... There's a running back. I'm sorry, I didn't, you know, I didn't need to do what I did. Jeffrey Simmons is a name. I don't know what the Titans' money is like, but they seem to be like a team that isn't all in on like any of their players. So, I mean, it's maybe a little bit different than wide receiver, but I'm going to pay him. I don't care. I'm paying this man. You know, maybe if it was a bunch of AFC teams that were bidding on him, maybe you're like, okay, I can maybe let him go, but I don't want to play against him so many seasons. I really like Rashawn Gary, but I think our pass rush is perfectly fine. I don't think we need him. Marcus Peters isn't a terrible one-year signing. I'm going to pay attention to our uh, our future money. I I like McCole Hardman. Is he really the type of receiver we need, though? I don't know. See, so, yeah, I mean, if you do look at our uh, contract situation, uh, oh, actually, Aquanu, we got to add another year too. But Shaq Thompson might be gone. Burns has to be paid, so that number will actually increase by at least 10 mil. Uh, Jackson's maybe a little bit higher, nothing crazy. Moore is going to be almost doubled. So yeah, I mean, I think you can probably get away with Simmons, but I probably wouldn't do much more. There's a lot of names that are going to be making a lot more money than that. I mean, even Simmons, you can argue, is maybe debatable. How how like how like well has Ionitis played? I think he improved. He did get five. Simmons is a great number. 20 per is, you know, it's costly, but it's definitely worth it. Do you really want to put 20 mil into that? I mean, we're going to be close on cap, I feel. No cap. <laughs> like, you can't really get rid of Ionitis. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the money. I'm gonna save it. Although I do kind of want uh, Michael Hardman now. I really want a wide receiver. We don't make many trades, 
So I think we'll see how much, you know, let's see how competitive the Patriots are. I also wonder how free agency works, by the way. Like, if you're going to say, let's say you offer something competitive to, you know, let's say his agent. Does the agent come back with you saying, oh, the Patriots offered us like a four year, like 72. Can you match that? Because like you could also lie probably. But at the same time, it's like with any job, right? In real life, if your previous job paid you $15 an hour and you're going on to a new job that's like tougher, you know, and you have that experience, you have that previous pay wager, and you're going to be like, I'm not joining you for 10. Uh, you know, my previous job paid me this, you know? So I don't know. I suppose the uh, the Bengals with Tyler Boyd, I don't know how much he, like if he's on contract for a long time, but if he's not, then might as well just pay Hardman anyways, and you don't have to pay the acquisition cost. Yeah, I mean, it would be pretty cheap in general, but oh, he is a really good catcher, though. Like, I don't even know. I just see the name Hardman, and I think, ooh, I like him. Uh, Tyler Boyd also is kind of a slot receiver. I mean, he's a slot receiver, but he does have the size, I suppose, to play number two, if you will. Yeah, I mean, Hardman's a lot more raw. I know uh, he's younger, but Tyler Boyd, I think, I like a lot. I mean, how much would you actually ask for if you're the Bengals, who probably can't afford three quality wide receivers who's on a contract here am i looking at t higgins was i looking at t higgins right now i wasn't it was tyler boyd he's pretty good so we ended up giving up 95 troy pride and elf line elf line's kind of just like the uh additive to make sure they take the trade but troy pride i mean he just does, there's just no roster space so i mean we get a good player from the Bengals, and yeah i mean he's got a little bit of size we're not stuck with just a bunch of small fast guys which isn't terrible but you know Saves a little bit of money as well, I'd imagine. Get a uh, you know Boyd back for a little bit cheaper. But yeah, that age definitely worries me a little bit. But I will say, with Boyd on the team now, I honestly do not know what to grab. Linebacker is still actually a bit of an issue for us because Jayon, even though he played well, is pretty old. So I don't know if I feel like that's the biggest need. Ooh, a zone coverage makes me think I like it. All right, fifth-year options, Derek Brown. I mean, he is a bit costly. I don't think we're going to save that much more by doing the fifth year, so I'm just going to do it now. We'll say we are kind of – yeah, we probably should have spread it out a little bit and not done that. We should have actually signed him. Uh, and then C.J. Henderson is probably a lot cheaper if we decide to even keep him. Uh, but we're going to do it – no, I should just say no to the other one anyways, but here we are. And that probably is the last one, right? So we have pick 31, and I'm kind of thinking I wish we didn't trade for Boyd because there's a really solid-looking wide receiver here, Deontay McCree. Honestly, comped pretty close to Robbie Anderson, ironically enough, who we just lost and we're going to miss. Obviously, you have another wide receiver, Weaver, Derek Weaver, who looks decent enough because of the speed, 4 2 uh, which is just insane. Uh, short route of B, but don't really know a whole lot after that. But if you're looking at other positions, you know, need middle linebacker, a little tiny smidgen. I don't know. I think this McCree guy is good, and I might still take him, to be honest. I, I mean, you can never have enough good wide receivers, right? I mean, he'd be on a rookie deal. We have kind of the ability to go with a luxury pick rather than a pick for need because we just don't really have one. Uh, Faulkner is a guy in a very athletic, decent enough. Don't know if I want to take him the first round, though. Uh, this guy, though, Peck. Yeah, a little bit on the weaker side. This looks like one of those classic normal dev guys, but a B power move is just insane no matter what you look at. And then this guy didn't get any more scouting on, but he was okay looking, so I put him on the list. Uh, I mean, did I not get 90% on him? I didn't. Okay, I was about to say, that's pretty bad for 90%. Ooh, he dodged a bullet there. I was, you know, kind of just going to the teams that don't really need wide receiver. The Bills are, like, kind of on that mid-tier uh, the Dolphins, I don't think either do, and the Cardinals don't, I didn't think at least, so I was just like, I'll just keep going until, you know, those guys are kind of, you know, those teams are out of the way, but Cardinals could have stole them. I didn't think that was a possibility, but let's go to the Dolphins from 31 to 20. Shouldn't be too bad, but it might still cost us the majority of this draft, especially considering we don't have our third round anymore. So we ended up giving up 31 and 63 for 20. Really didn't want to get rid of that second round pick, but it was pretty fair value. We got to... They gained, gained like a fifth round in value. Our next pick is in the fourth round, but 
we are kind of a team that is ready to win now. And I think this guy is one of those guys that's just going to be good right out the gate. The Giants need him so bad. He fits so well that he's two of their top needs. <laughs> but Deontay McCree, please be good. Hand and development trade, 92 speed, 90 excel, 88 jumping, 93 change of direction. Like I said, you know, a little bit slower, but, you know, Robbie Anderson vibes. Which some people are like, why'd you trade up for then? And there are some really solid players here that I, I don't want to miss out on. But, I mean, what can I do? I don't have a good draft pick anymore. Of any draft pick anymore, realistically. Let's go to the next round. I just think trading up from future draft picks is just too much to ask for. Could actually maybe have made a move with Terrace Marshall, but it's too late for that now, isn't it? We have an undrafted projected middle linebacker who is decently athletic, but not good enough for me. I mean, it's going to be a kind of unrealistic, re uh, not rebuild, but draft. I'm going to trade down to next year, to be honest. Got a fourth and a seventh, I think, off of the... Sexons with that pick, and we're going to move to 31. Maybe the linebacker's uh, worthy of a pick at that point. Zeke gone? No way. Really? And even though they have him as a 1-2 to two rounder and he's all the way down here, that feed, that, that feed, that speed is just too good to pass on. 92 speed, 89 excel. The agility and change of direction does suck, especially since he's a smaller guy, but I mean, I guess he's short, but he's not small. When you think 5'8", 200-some pounds, that's technically a little bulky, right? Because, like, it's more compact, and I think it never hurts to grab another lineman, although I hate this time. I don't know if he's going to be that good. All right, draft recap. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, 75 overall. That's good sign. These guys, though, kind of suck, as expected, but McCree, uh, aggressive catch, possession. That's all you would ever ask for. Fights for yards. Injury does suck. Toughness isn't great. Uh, looking at the juke move, decently jukeable. Uh, you know, once again, change direction is pretty good. Uh, 90 spec, 88 jump. He's a pretty good jump ball guy. That's all I can really tell you. This is a very, very solid player. I don't know what his dev is, actually. We'll take a look. I think no matter what, Boyd is obviously a starter. I mean, I, I think all three are going to start, to be honest. And he is a superstar. I mean, Boyd does fit more as a slot receiver. I don't really care, to be honest, who goes where. So, I mean, it is what it is. Was there anyone we were going to grab? I don't think there really was because we traded up and we had, like, no other picks. I mean, we had some other guys, but, you know, they weren't, like, guys I must have, you know, it's, like, a big decision. I think it was going to be the wide receiver all the way. So, we have a ton of wide receiver talent. Maybe try to get, like, a late third or an early fourth off of somebody for Terrace Marshall as we're kind of wasting his career here. But, yeah, our wide receiver room is obviously so much more talented, so... If we can't get those guys involved, it probably is the scheme. I don't know how much that changes anything, though. And we get a third-round pick off the Texans. That's a team that could definitely use his talents. All right, so here's the squad for year three. We decided to put Boyd in the slot. After all, McCree at number two. I think they're similar enough, but I just think that Boyd is a little bit better of a route runner for the, for the slot, I suppose. He's also a little bit smaller, technically. Uh, regardless, I think you have a lot of talent there, and I think it's going to work out pretty well. Uh, Boyd might actually get more playing time in the slot. We've seen the numbers kind of reflect that the number two doesn't really get that much playing time compared to the one and three. Uh, but look at the D-line. DT2 could be improved, but other than that, if we can afford everyone, that's great. Cornerbacks look great. Safeties look pretty decent. Harrison would like to be a little bit faster developing, but still good enough. Linebackers definitely need to replace at least Jayon soon and potentially uh, Thompson soon. So it's a good squad. We made the Super Bowl last year. I can't say we'd win the Super Bowl but it would be nice to at least get back there again. Breakout chance for Matt Corral. Any thoughts? I don't think it's going to be good. He made it on that he hoped. <sighs> so Brian Burns uh, finally decided to show up on the stat sheet. And because of so, he's going to get a five-year 120. What does that come out to, actually? I'd say it's 24.5. I'm not even going to do the math on it. Uh, my brain did the math already for me. But DJ Moore, he hasn't really played as a true number one. But I suppose he'll get... I mean, that's really cheap money for nowadays, so I, I guess he kind of got money based on the way he's played, to be honest, but uh, Jeremy Chen, a five-year 57, you know, safeties are, I wouldn't say a dime a dozen, but safeties are kind of guys that don't get paid as much lately. Uh, a five-year 75 is actually kind of low, but it's an in-house, it's near 20 per, I suppose. Dante Jackson, we're going to give a three-year 55 to... That's, I mean, it's pretty fair, right? It's, once again, nearing 20 per. Uh, Boyd, I would like to do, like, a two-year 30 if he would be down. 
I think, you know, that's kind of fair. Hey, actually, t wait, did I overpay him? That's not terrible, actually. That worked. Okay. I mean, we did give him pretty good guarantees, but still. Yator Gross Matos, he definitely deserves to be paid less than Burns and everyone else because he's just been kind of like a complimentary piece. Thompson might just be gone. Iki Aquanu, I think, has like two more years on the, the books, so I'm going to reflect it that way with the two-year. Yeah, you would have more than that, so I'm going to add a little bit more money. You know, kind of the uh, the fifth-year option we're just going to assume for him, and boom. You also have Corbett, who has actually been pretty good. I'm going to re-sign him. I'm going to do it. I, mean, I think he's pretty solid here. Maybe not the best interior blocker, but a three-year 34 isn't terrible money. Uh, anyone else? CJ Henderson. He hasn't played like some lights-out player. I'd rather see it be like a four-year 35, but a five-year 37, whatever. We've given plenty of money to all these players, so... I mean, I think that's all fair. Johnny Hacker probably has at least another year in him, so let's give him a deal. And I mean, as long as we can avoid paying uh, Matt Corral anytime soon, which we will, we should be good for pretty much the rest of the rebuild. If we win this game, we win the division. And we did. Didn't get a bye week, though. And ironically enough, we have to play the Saints again, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Christian McCaffrey back up there in the totals for rushing number two. Uh, this could be our year. We'll, we'll see. This could be our year... Uh, Pretty good, you know, good finish. I guess we did lose two out of the last three, but outside of that, pretty damn good. Let's take a look at the receiving numbers. Uh, really? We bolster up the pass attack super well with the receivers, and we drop even more yards, touchdowns, and, I mean, I guess the picks were lower, but really, though, I mean... We added freaking Boyd and McCree. I don't like. I don't know. This scheme, it gets us wins, and McCaffrey is that good. But like, how are we not spreading the ball around a little bit better? Just like even a tiny bit. Of course, the youngster who's played his first year in the NFL with us just now had himself a pretty good year. Christian McCaffrey may be the MVP of the entire league, and he is. I mean, that guy is just like it works. It's working. It works. Why would I change it? You know, it's just like, I want more passing, but if we're going to win games, I don't really care too much, I guess. As we're 91 overall already, 87 overall Saints, I mean, we're probably the best team in the league. We'll just see if we get sim luck or not, I guess. All right, I mean, we did win the, well, we didn't win the Super Bowl last year. We got to the Super Bowl last season. Uh, usually, we kind of get to there year four with the win, but, I mean, there's a chance. There's a chance. 10-7, to 7, 10 all is a really close game. Oof. Huge touchdown before half. Huge touchdown after half for us, though. Up seven. Looking okay. Defense is holding. That looks good enough for the win, and it is. 38-17. to 17. It was close throughout, but we just held them off in the second half. Matt Corral looking worse in the postseason. That Super Bowl loss hurt big time, apparently. But look at Hubbard. 13 for 105 with two touchdowns. I mean, I'll take it. I suppose, once again, I would like the passing game to do better, but... It's just running backs all the time around here, even though we have actually sick receivers now. Uh, Brian Burns with two and a half sacks. Jimmy Chin with a pick. Demario Davis still around. The youngster, I'm going to kind of call him rookies. He hadn't played. You can't really learn a whole lot as a kicker in the NFL, right? Like you just, like you kick the the ball through the thing. I, I don't, you know, just like, let's just do that. Christian McCaffrey, nothing upgrade, so trucking and stiff arm. Pretty good stiff arm. Not so great trucking. But the divisional, the Buccaneers are probably in the mix as well. And they're not going to be here, but 91 overall to the 87 overall Cowboys. I mean, the overalls, they're there. I mean, we are the better team. All right, going to the end of the game. Dallas, strong drive gets three. We have a stronger drive getting seven. Six to seven. I mean, defense is holding touchdowns away, but offense isn't scoring anything. 10 to nine, 17 to nine, 24 to nine. Come on, offense. Wake up as defense holds him to another field goal. That's what I'm talking about with the offense. The defense coming up clutch. And the Cowboys lose another game to us, the Panthers. Dak got locked out. Matt Corral, better performance for sure. Christian McCaffrey was pretty good. How do you go from like 13 rushes for like 100 plus, two touchdowns to Hubbard to not even giving him a carry? Like what? McCaffrey, of course, like these crazy numbers for McCaffrey. Uh, Derek Brown and Brian Burns. Pretty good performances from the front in general. Shaq Thompson with a pick. Kicking was pretty tame for us. Their kicker went off, but there's only so much a kicker can do. And there they are, the Buccaneers. 
NFC South represented in the Super Bowl no matter what. Highest overall we faced. Brady, I'd imagine, is still around, but pretty low of an overall. Come on, just not the Buccaneers. Back-to-back trips, question mark. 7-0, seven 7-all. Zero, seven we'll take it. 14-7. to seven. Defense is doing all right again. 21-7. to seven. Offense has come to play, though. They ain't joking around. 35 in the first half. There's no comeback this time, baby. Probably. There you go, offense. Closing it out. And we're in the Super Bowl back-to-back years. Wow, what a performance. It is not. It's Tyler Huntley. Brady must have retired because I gave him a three-year, uh, 60 guaranteed, 30 salary, which I feel like is pretty on par for what he's maybe a little bit more. But uh, he must have just straight up retired. But Matt Corral obviously crushed it. I mean, it is Tyler Huntley after all. But uh, Hubbard at least got to play, I guess. Uh, McCaffrey was okay. But receiving, dude. Oh, my God. McCrea, hey, it's a wide receiver. There's also a receiver in there. Boyd is along for the ride. The guy is just lucky. That's all I can say. I probably should have looked at kicking, but who cares? I imagine it was perfect, right? 42 points. All the extra points in the world. Not the Chiefs again. Why? Not the Chiefs, dude. Who do they beat? Did they at least have to beat tough teams? Like... I mean... I imagine they had the bye week, right? So... Patriots and the Browns. I mean, ugh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't know what to tell you. I don't like it. Let's take a look at our lineup. Any dev ups? Obviously not Matt Corral. No to the wide receivers, but we do already have a superstar. Uh, number two with McCree, who uh, is a very good catcher already and has jukebox. That's kind of broken. Uh, defensively, any dev ups? Uh, Burns is an X Factor. And Tyson is a star dev. We'll take that. Tyson's actually developing pretty decently for, you know, an outside linebacker. Uh, but, of course, X-Factor doesn't really matter too much. He did get unstoppable for us, which is pretty good. But this is a good team. I don't know if we're going to get better by much, considering we're going to lose Shaq Thompson. But I suppose you are. You do have Matt Corral. You're also going to lose Jayon. But 89 overall for the Chiefs. This is a tough one. But doable. Come on. If you're going to lose, at least lose in a better fashion. Last time we got smoked and left to right is us. It's a little surprising. Seven all. Defense is trying their best, but offense isn't doing their job. There you go. Come on, offense. 24 to 7. The Chiefs are going to score, but it won't matter. The Panthers are Super Bowl champions. I don't know if I'm safe from the NFL. I want to see the podium, though. Come on, EA. The game isn't that realistic. That's all you get to see. I'm not getting sued. Wow, Matt Corral did not play well. But you know who played worse? Patrick Mahomes, dude. Four interceptions. Holy crap. It's sometimes better to be Matt Corral than it is to be Pat Mahomes, I suppose. Uh, what, a, what a really weird offensive performance from both teams. We were just we didn't do enough, and Mahomes tried to do too much, which I suppose a lot of times in his career is kind of the case. And we win. We did it. We beat the damn Chiefs who smoked us last season. Not so tough now, are you, Chiefs? Huh? Huh? But yeah, let's take a look at the uh, the ratings. You know, we're in year, would have been a year four. So three seasons completed. This is what EA kind of projects the team to look like in three seasons. DJ Moore is a flat-out stud, even though they're really not using him too much, to be honest. McCaffrey will take a quick look at the ratings. We did just kind of look at him, but I didn't really pay attention to anything else. Juke move, spin move. He's a freak of a receiver, but it's crazy because his numbers are great, and I suppose as a running back, you don't need to technically be as good of a route runner as a receiver to get open, but you know his receiving ratings are actually pretty low, so it is kind of like, you know, why is he getting so many yards if he's so low of a receiving rating, but... Ikem Kwanu with uh, 94 strength, you know, still more of a power guy than a, a finesse, which is you know, a little iffy. Short, though, kind of developed faster in a way. Also actually built the right way with power since he's interior, whereas Ikwanu should be, you know, finesse because he's on the edge. But uh, another guy kind of built properly, but more of a just finesse. He's not like, you know, he's not one or the other. He's more of just a pass blocker. Uh, Corbett, you know, kind of a finesse guy, which... Uh oh, <laughs> Moten didn't really see him too much in this one, but you know, just a good pass blocker, which is good to have. Uh, I don't really care too much about Boyd. Let's take a look at Matt Corral, the kind of 
face of this rebuild, face of the franchise potentially. 26 years old, 96 throw power. He's still lacking. You know, 86 medium, 83 deep, 78 short. Under pressure is only 82. His you know awareness is 87. Pretty elusive. Pretty uh you know athletic. Didn't really get to use that that athleticism though using this playbook. So maybe should have went with something else, but. The running numbers are just terrible for quarterbacks anyways. Brian Burns is obviously a solid player. Don't care too much about a Matthew Ioannidis. Sorry, pal. Derek Brown, you know, more of a block shedder than a power move guy. Yatur Gross Matos, been a very good complimentary piece. 93 power move, pretty athletic, all things considered. Dante Jackson, great man corner. Yeah, you could tell, really good speed and all that. J.C. Horn, let's take a look at him. He had a couple of decent pick seasons, you know, the man corner. Uh, Henderson we paid, but I can't imagine he's going to be that good of a player. Yeah, he's pretty kind of early in his development. Obviously, he's still pretty damn young. Jeremy Chin, just a great player in general. You know, very smart, good pursuit, great zone, very athletic. Freak of nature with that size, obviously. 85 overall for Ronnie Harrison. Uh, you know, 85 zone, really good hit power. He's, you know, got a bit of boom to him. Shaq Thompson, he's 30 and he's still working. A little bit, uh, you know, not super athletic, but... You know, it is actually kind of crazy to think, like, I know I didn't mean it, you know, still working as in, like, he's not retired, but, you know, like, it is kind of crazy to think they, like, these guys, like, oh, they're old, they're in their 30s, it's like, they don't have to work another day in their lives, obviously, they worked really hard to get there, but it's just crazy, isn't it? Of course, Lawrence Tyson, basically, like, the new Shaq Thompson, which is just great, kicker, punter, doesn't really matter too much, Blankenship didn't upgrade at all, maybe a little bit in the awareness, but... That's going to be the, honestly, surprisingly quick post-draft Carolina Panthers rebuild. Now, like I said, this may have already been a, a rebuild too soon. I don't want to run through every single team in general, and I definitely don't want to run through all of them so quickly. So maybe you'll see another one on Wednesday or Thursday, perhaps, but I would highly doubt anytime sooner. Probably an upload tomorrow would be Nighthawks, I'd imagine, but not guaranteed because I do like to... You know, kind of let the rebuilds marinate a little bit because these do take a little bit longer to make and, of course, for you guys to watch. So I know there's some people that come back and they're like, hey, where's the rebuild? I guess I'll just watch the new video and forget that thing. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you We do so much franchise. It honestly hurts. It's crazy that I don't get burnt out. Like, usually like a month before, I'm a little burnt out, but I can ju I just still keep grinding it because I just, I just enjoy it. I, I don't know. I'm just mentally disabled. Just really bad. It's just like it's a disease at this rate. I'm addicted. But yeah, maybe follow me on Twitter, John Picare. Second channel, Picare Plays, which I've super neglected. And then streams. I want to try to get back this week sometime. Uh, I'm a little ahead in Nighthawks, so I'll probably try to upload Nighthawks until then and then stream, you know, an episode maybe. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.